And he's off. Vintner Series. Vintner Series. Vintner Series. 2012. 2012. 2012. That's how, we, that's how we say it. Had an incredible, uh, incredible Christmas season here at Wine of the Month Club, and we look forward to serving all of our new members with the great wines that we're going to talk about right now. But you were just discussing off camera how cool your electric opener was. Fabulous. Was. Really cool. Really, this really is, cool. Uh, <laughs> we've been through a few different brands, as you know, and this is stainless steel. And the cool, th what's nice about it, besides the cool LED light. Mm -hmm. So you can see that light going. Is that it's clear here, so you know when the cork is removed from the bottle. The other ones we had, it just you, you're not sure when it's done. Oh, that's right. I, so I see. see I see, see what you're saying. Right? Yeah. You see uh -huh. through there, and then you reverse the thing out. I have yet to break it at home, and I've usually asked my mother. She, I break everything, so um, we're very very excited. Do not try it on a cork on a screw cap one. <laughs> <laughs> people have done that. Before. Yeah, she's probably watching now. So new, new, this is the first vintage of this winery called a Coutre, and I was flipped over the wine. It's a nice, simple uh, Cabernet from... I, I don't think it's, it's simple well, at all. Simple, I think, I, mean, I, I thought this was an amazing from bottle Medicino, of wine. I didn't mean simple, I meant it was not this verbosious, over tannic, overdone wine. It's well, no, 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 because those things aren't aren't really in favor anymore. It's These these wines are now, you know, more, have to be a little bit more elegant because we have... We have softer, easier eating food now. We're not That's eating true. too much, you know, crazy stuff. The layers of this wine are really Unbelievable. Crazy. And I was so impressed when I tasted this wine. I really, really liked it. And <coughs> and, and more importantly, it comes from Mendocino. Yeah. My goodness. Right. Yeah, something. you know, well, some of us have been drinking wine from Mendocino for like 30 years because it's always been a great area. I mean, guys like uh, Parducci, uh, you know, uh, figured that out, you know, back in the 50s. Parducci turned 90 years old this, wow. this year. Or you know, last you know year. what happens with those wines? You taste it and you go, gee, what was that? I just tasted it. I'm going to taste it again. Mm -hmm. What was that? I just tasted it. I'm going to taste it again. But I can't do that because it I is more wine fantastic. It's really fun wine. Absolutely really fantastic excited. bottle of wine. Yeah, I mean, twenty two ninety nine as a regular price, and twelve ninety nine on the on the reorder. I would I would defy you to buy a Cabernet for twelve ninety nine anywhere. That's this good. The balance is nice to this. Well, it, you know, it, 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 one of the things that I really love about it is that it just says Cabernet. Right. I mean, That's it says right. this is Cabernet. This is not something else. This is Cabernet, and it's just beautifully done. The flavors are there. The juice is there. I'm I'm going to 95 on this. I'm 96 even. Ooh, owie. I mean, this is really I good. That's the editor's job. Oh, who cares? You they don't do a very good job anyway. <laughs> really? I'm 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 taking this home. Actually, is what I'm doing. As far as you know. As far as I know. Okay, and TikTok is next. Oh, I got that one too. From Mudgee. Mudgee. Australia. Yeah, Mudgee. Mm. TikTok. Oh, James Oatley. Yeah. Yes. Which is a, has a, his own brand name, James Oatley, but this is his other brand called TikTok. And I tasted most of the product line. I mean, they were pretty good, but this one just really stood out. And, uh, you know, Sauvignon Blanc from that part of the world is great anyway. I really like Sauvignon Blancs from Australia. I really do. This is great because this is a Chardonnay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said Sauvignon Blanc, and I just picked up on it and ran with that ball, even though I was going in the wrong direction. <laughs> this nose is something, isn't it? Yeah, the nose is really something. It smells wow. like Sauvignon Blanc. <laughs> <laughs> was it a Sauvignon Blanc bottle? Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. Another really cool white wine with no oak on it. The fruit impressions are mm -hmm. amazing, aren't they? Yeah, it's, it's really, really interesting. You get some, uh, I get some cantaloupe in there. Actually, cantaloupe is a really good descriptor here. Um, $18.99 is a regular price. $11.99 on the reorder. And... It's such a great departure, and that's it's just like the classic series of Chardonnay, from the stuff that you do get at the market, because they all try to oak stuff, they put, you know, punched it down, they put in chips and mm -hmm. staves, whatever they do. Here's an opportunity to just taste the grape. Mudgy. <laughs> Keep saying that. Where are you from, Mudgy? Yeah, I'm Mudgy, yeah. Okay, fine. Uh, they probably aren't too crazy about Monrovia, so who knows, you know. Anyway, I'm, I'm doing a 93 on this. I really like this one. I think it's I spectacular. It. Exactly what I'm gonna say. I don't care what you say. Nothing's I changed. Say. I say. Okay. And Cheers. what are we doing now? Now we're going back to some old friends here in Paso. We featured the vintage flight Cabernet. Oh yeah, that was really good. Then we uh, then we got uh, some more on an email special that you guys all saw. 
But this is their the main brand called JJ Sellers, and this is their Paso Merlot. It's a 2008. Uh, you know, the rest of the product line I thought was okay, but this one really stood out as I thought were a really nice wine. And you know, the vintage flight was one of the best bargains we've had in a long time. That was very good. That was like what, six ninety nine or yeah. five ninety nine? Yeah. Like that. Mm. You know, somebody, one of my friends, uh, uh, built a plane. Built the plane. You fly a plane, mm. you built yourself. And uh, had a christening with the vintage flight because of the plane that's on the label. That was kind of fun. Well, that's really interesting. Isn't that super, dude? Yeah. Wow. Jeez. He just regales us with these stories, and I'm 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 in heaven. Um, this is really good. It has it has a little bit of that hot climate ripeness in the yeah. nose, but it doesn't have it you in the mouth. You don't taste it, right? No, you really don't. I mean, you know, you think. You think you're going to get something big and alcoholic, and it's really subdued, which is very, very nice. I think it would go. It would. This would go well with turkey, even let alone let alone beef and lamb and and uh, you know and it's not wild fruit. There's some oak in there and wild boar. It would go well Ooh, with wild yeah, boar. Yeah, that'd be great. How about some uh, buffalo burgers? Mm. 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 Two thousand eight. Only two hundred ninety cases produced total. Wow. Yeah. Well, nineteen ninety nine on the shelf. Twelve ninety nine reorder price. 94 points. I give it 94 because that's a great bottle. <laughs> I didn't realize they only made 290 cases. We bought almost all of it then. But where are the rest of the people going to get? I don't know. And you don't care. Well, I'm glad we got that straightened out. And last but not least, Tortoise Creek oh, Vio Dave. Um, <laughs> yes, my Melvin Masters. Melvin Master. Oh my goodness. Yes, Melvin and I go back, you know, a couple yeah, of right. decades. Oh. You look up the word character in the dictionary, it's a picture of Melvin's picture, okay? I'll send a video out that we did together. Please do. God, I, I, I love Melvin. He's got a gorgeous wife. If, if they're still married, you know, who knows? But my God, um, crazy man. Absolutely crazy. But he's one of those crazies you just love, you know, because he's got a phenomenal sense of humor. He's always animated. Yep. You know, the guy is always on. He's always plugged in. And the good thing is the wines are fabulous. This, you know, this Tortoise Creek is, is developed. And he's actually, oh, remember, man. Le Jumel was a pretty Le good Jumel brand. was a terrific brand. But this this one, I think, is more elegant, and he's sourcing the grapes in a better place. So he sent me pictures for the newsletter because I got them on the front cover. And it's him having lunch with his friends. Yeah. I'm like, oh, that's very interesting, Melvin. I really appreciate <laughs> it. How, you, How about a vineyard shot? Are you and picking grapes or something? 20 years ago, I remember him telling me, I'm going to um, to uh, the Provence to make wine. I said, Melvin, you're nuts. I mean, we got a hard enough time selling wine in California, and you're going to go to Provence and make it? And that was Le Jumel, and sure enough, you know, wow. they did actually very well. They know. did very well. They sold the brand, but this is his new brand. And this I, is I spectacular. This. You know All, both the red and the white, the elegance of the wines. Well, I love this nose. I mean, you can't not love this nose. This nose is is peach and lychee and 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 white peach and nectarines and all just all kinds of stone fruit mixed with a little uh, guava, guayaba, <laughs> guayaba. They don't say it, guayaba in the south of Russia. And he's changed the label. It's really nice now. And the funny thing was, I ordered mm. the red, and then they called me back. We don't have enough. We didn't bring enough into the country. So I said, well, let's let's go with the white as the alternate, and they had enough of this for that, but I'm disappointed because I'm going to try and get the red for subsequent shipments because I like it a lot. Nice package, too. Le Verger. You know what's funny about this it? It's not a verbose. No, it's not. It's elegant. It's got some good acid in it, which sometimes are kind of fat. I love this wine. I'm, I'm doing a 95. I think this wine's out of this world. I really, really like it a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm taking that home, too, by the way. 94, you're welcome to take it, Ed. Thank you. For and there we are. <laughs> <laughs> the Vintner Series 2012. Only four months left before the world ends. So um, we hope that uh, we'll see you for the next installment of the Limited. Mm -hmm. That really is fabulous.